I am standing in the kitchen at Paley's Place, a great restaurant in Northwest Portland, and I'm here with Chef Patrick, and it looks like you're preparing to do something for us. What are you going to do? Here? I am. I'm going to make a little tomato bruschetta today. See, I always called it bruschetta. Bruschetta. So I was wrong, wasn't I? You were, yes. <laughs> so it looks relatively simple. What are the products and how do you, it how is. Do you get well, it Well, what we're going to do today is I'm going to take some tomatoes. We have some garlic and shallot here and some oregano. And what I'm going to do is actually cut these in half and I'm going to smoke the tomatoes. Oh, my. Okay. So a little bit different from your traditional bruschetta, which is basically just kind of raw tomato, basil, yeah. garlic, olive oil kind of thing. Uh, this is going to be our little spin uh, from Paley's Place on this traditional uh, dish. So while you get started on that, let me know, like, it really, you can almost put anything on this, though. Really, it can change up. Yes, well, you know, definitely at Paley's, one thing that we uh, do is we change our menu pretty much every day uh -huh. and very, uh, as frequently as possible to, you know, especially in the summertime, to kind of focus on what's uh, local and what's seasonal. And during the summertime with as many things as we have growing, it changes from day to day. Well, you know, it's one of the things that I really, I really value and respect about this restaurant is that you are organic and sustainable. You really you source a lot of stuff locally whenever possible. Absolutely. And yet the bar is set high because the cuisine is amazing. <laughs> well, I mean, it's really a lot of delicious. It is, a lot of it is because of the local uh, things that we get here yeah. uh, from the farmers and you know tomatoes come from Flam Flamingo Ridge uh, even as far as our garlic from Prairie Creek Farm and uh -huh. our shallots to goat cheese that we can source locally from uh, Liz Crane over at Portland Creamery. Little setup happening right here so what we're gonna do is just I cut these in half we're just gonna set them on here and I've got a little bit of garlic and shallot here and you're just sprinkling and it I'm right just gonna on top. sprinkle it right on top here and then I've got a little bit of dried Italian oregano. And you're not even chopping that up, you're just no, stripping just it sprinkle off. sprinkle it around. Yes, it's all very bit. simple. Nice. And then we have a salt and pepper mixture. This is Jacobson Sea Salt from Neetarts Bay. So we're just going to season the tomatoes with a little bit of this. Oh, and olive oil. A little bit of uh, that. Durant Vineyard And that is oil. Durant right from Red Ridge. Right from we Red Ridge, Red exactly. Ridge. Yep. Nice. So, and then all I'm going to do is just pop this guy down and we'll just let him smoke. So Patrick, what, what are you doing now while those uh, tomatoes are roasting? Uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to cut a couple of slices of bread here on a nice little angle so we got a nice little size of the bread there. Nice. And do you do anything else to prepare that for the tomatoes? Uh, once the tomatoes come out of the smoker, what I'm going to do is, it's a trick I learned from my grandmother, uh -huh. uh, I'm going to let them cool down a little bit I'm going to pluck the skins off of the tomatoes and basically just cook it down in a pot until all of the water is gone and it kind of resembles this tomato jam okay. that you have right here. So a little bit of sugar and just adjust your seasoning if you have to and then go for it from there. So okay. pretty simple. Yeah. So anyway, what we're going to do from here, again with the Durant olive oil. So I've got some nice little guys there. A little bit more olive oil and I'm just going to, this oven's at 300 degrees right now so I'm just going to pop it in here for about seven minutes and then when it comes out, we'll top it with some of the uh, tomato and some chev and a little bit more olive oil and we'll be done. Nice. So now, these have been toasted. Right, they've been toasted in the oven, so they're a little crunchy on the outside. So all we're gonna do at this point is just take some of this tomato jam that we have. Which I tasted and is amazing. <laughs> we're just gonna spoon a little bit on top here. Then a little bit of fresh chev. And then what I like to do with this at this point is to put these back on the pan that I cooked them in in the oven and I'm going to throw them up into our little broiler up here and I'm just going to slightly melt the goat cheese. See it just start to melt there. A little bit more of this good Durant olive oil. And then also local from our good friend Asa over at Hale Ka Microgreens. There's a little bit of uh, micro parsley. Okay, that it's not only beautiful, it looks absolutely delicious as well. Oh, thank you. So now, tell me about the happy hour. What, what part of those hours? Happy hour happens every day of the week until 6.30. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're open at 5, so it goes from 5 to 6.30. And then Monday through Thursday, we're open at 5.30. So 5.30 to 6.30 on those days as well. Wonderful. Now, listen, for this recipe, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to the, the restaurant's website. And you can also look up the hours and see what's happening and all the great food that they're providing for you every single day. Thank you so much, Thank Patrick. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It was fun.